Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've been having a little bit of fun playing with this new stamp set. This stamp set is one that is called Beautiful Peacock. And I've tried a couple of different versions and I kind of like this one. Uh, I'll be making lots more with this anyway. But I'm using the bird here, the bird body. And I'm using this swirl for his make-believe tail here. And those are the two pieces that I'm using from the stamp set. And um, this stamp set is available to you out of the New Sale Abration catalog. When you order $50 or more uh, out of either the Occasions or the regular annual catalog, you qualify to get a free a product from the Celebration catalog. And in this catalog, we have um, a number of things. Um, and here in the front, it shows a little blue circle and kind of an orangish circle. And the blue circle is if you've ordered uh, $50 worth of product, then you that is an eligible stamp set. So for instance, this Heartfelt Blooms is available for free when you order $50. And then flipping over here to the next page, here is the beautiful Peacock stamp set. And in this case, uh, that's also available or eligible when you order $50 worth of uh, stamps or $50 worth of product uh, in the catalog, either of the live catalogs. And this goes on. There's some beautiful stamp sets here and um, different things that you can do with them. Uh, they're really lovely. There's a, this package of three sets of ribbon that is the Shimmer Ribbon Pack, and it is in Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, and Basic Gray. And so that is also available. Um, and here's a um, card pack that goes with the Sweet Soiree. And so that is available for a $50 order. Um, this cute little stamp set here called Epic Celebrations. It's got the guitar and the sneakers and the um, headphones um, is, is cute. And that's also available. Here's some designer series paper that goes with the Bubble and Fizz um, stamp set. And um, then there is something a little different in here. Uh, here's uh, some note cards that are on colored paper that are really very attractive. This cute little panda set is available also. And I think he might have to make a Valentine's card. I'm not sure. Do you see the little heart on the envelope? Isn't it cute? Um, this set is amazing. Um, the stamp set itself is available for a $50 order. And then this is something brand new Stampin' Up! has never done before. This is a die set, and it says Celebrate, Amazing, and You. So Amazing You, Celebrate You, any number of things. Um, and this is available, and this, these will carry over to the catalog. Um, and these are available when you place an order of $100. You can get this die set for free. And that's something. And there's two pieces in this catalog that are available with a $100 order. There's also this one at the end. It says happy and best. And then it just, it, this is a two pack stamp set. Anyway, there's a lot of things. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 sayings in this stamp set. So there's 16 stamps in this one and it's available for free with a $100 order. So um, that's a tiny bit about celebration. Now back to our card. Uh, I'm gonna make a few changes uh, in, in this uh, card. Um, what we need to make this is a um, Whisper White uh, card stock base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Um, and then I have Let's see, this Bermuda Bay um, Glimmer paper comes in this pack 
with the glimmer paper that is this green, the, the Bermuda Bay, and then this Dazzling Diamonds uh, glitter paper. And this is available in the Occasions catalog. Okay, here's my catalog. It's so much fun to be able to actually open the catalog and show you things now. This stamp set here is called Magical Day. In fact, there's a bundle available, so you can get the stamp sets and the dies for 10% off when you order them together, and it's called Magical Day Bundle. The stamp set is called Magical Day, and then the um, dies, Magical Mates Framelit dies, this has some very cute designer series paper, and some of these dies cut out the characters, you know, in various places. And I think they actually, in a couple of cases, they might actually cut out the material that's on the paper itself. But tucked right underneath here, barely visible, is this, uh, it's called Myths and Magic 6x6 um, six six Glimmer Paper. And there's these three colors in here, and... Um, it's really very pretty paper, and this will be available in this catalog through June. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up. I had put the other glimmer paper, the green glimmer paper, behind the white panel and between that and the uh, Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to change it up. I want to see what it looks like with a piece of lemon lime twist, and then our card base here that is going to have the stamping. And what it does is it takes down the sparkle just a little bit because I found when I used I used my Wink of Stella pen on the Bermuda Bay swirls here that it kind of got lost in the translation. So I'm going to see if it helps if it is um, a piece of lemon lime twist instead of the green glimmer paper. So these are the three things that we're going to need along with the card base to make this card. And um, my intention on this one uh, is for this to be a note card, just a note. And I tried stamping on the face of the card and of course I screwed it up. <laughs> so I made this little uh, um, oval here to raise it up and I really don't care for it. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can't uh, properly execute a stamping on the face of the of the card here. And then I tried to um, stamp off and do all kinds of crazy things and I'm just not happy with it. So uh, we're going to use the Just a Note and right now I can't remember, I, I can't remember which one that comes from, but uh, I will put it on the screen for you before okay, we're done. Okay, so we're going to do most of the work on here. So I'm going to move these things out of the way. And I'm going to bring in my black ink. And I'm going to bring in my um, pierce mat and some scratch paper here to do the work that we need to do here. So... Um, the first thing I'm going to do so that I make sure that I have enough room all along here and so I'm going to stamp this and I'm going to do one practice stamp just below this. If I remember right this stamp even when it looks square on the bottom needs to be a little bit angled at the top. So I'm going to set that right there and see how Yep, it needs to be angled even a little bit more than that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try and stamp this right up here at the top. There we go. That's nice and straight. All right, then I'm going to stamp my bird body here. And this bird body has got a lot of surface that needs stamping. So you want to make sure that you get that inked up just as well as you can. And my bird is a little bit angled, and I'm going to keep it that way because I think it allows the swirls to fill up the card a little bit better. So right down here in this corner, maybe even a little further over than that one, and... A little bit angled. 
So there, that's where I'm going to put down my bird. Give it pressure. That's a lot of ink, so I want to give it a second to soak into the card. And there we go. Now, once we have our Stamparatus, we won't have this happen because we'll just be able to stamp over and over again. In the meanwhile, um, I thought I had that one pretty well inked up, but clearly I didn't. And there's not an opportunity to stamp over. It's just too dangerous. So I'm taking my black marker and I'm going to feather in the remaining parts of the body here to get a nice dark impression. And you can do this at any point on the bird here where you don't have a perfect stamp. And just be really careful as you go along the edges and you should be fine. I've stamped this exactly right and I've stamped it a couple of times where it uh, came up a little light. And I found that even though I had just inked it up, if I huffed on it once, I had a little bit better luck. So I think there that's nice and filled in and I think we can just keep moving along. So I'm going to need the black ink again, but not right away. So next I'm going to switch to my Bermuda Bay and um, I'm going to go to my swirl, which I have here mounted on my stamp set and uh, lots of ink. Get any of the Bermuda Bay off my hands. All right. And so this one, I think I want to have tucked close to the bird here and under the note. And I'm going to put that first one in right here. There we go. All right. The next one I put in, I was putting in right along here and I just missed over stamping by a hair. Okay, now I've got this nice void here in the center and I'll show you what I did. I created a simple mask here by just coming along here like this because, and you'll notice that as I'm doing this, um, I'm just going to snip around that corner a bit, that I'm coming and I'm leaving the edges of those leaves exposed because the stamp won't stamp right off of the paper anyway. So I can set that there and I can try to get a Let's see, what's that going to do there? Maybe like that. And fill this in. And if it overstamps something else, it's going to be just fine. Slight overstamp down here, but I got my swirl in. Okay. Then I'm going to add another swirl down here at the bottom. And you'll see I came right in here along where there's those areas there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take that same corner and tuck it in here and put my swirl back just a bit. so that I can get most of that swirl on the page. And there we go. I think that's just fine. All right, so now I've got my swirls on here. I've got my sentiment, my bird. And so, let's see. On the inside of my card, I also put a couple of the swirls. And on this one, they were a little small. So here I was going to put 
uh, swirl more upright on the page here so I got a little bit more of it on here and then a shorter version of it right along here and I think that's fine too for the inside. Okay now the next thing I'm going to do is go back to this piece and on the stamp set and I don't know that I showed this in the beginning there's this stamp that has these little dots and this is the stamp. Let me clean it up a little bit and that takes me back to the black ink and so I'm going to take the black ink and this creates those little dots on the back of the tail. So I'm going to ink these up and I found that if you place these two dots here over this little neck that the dots seem to land in more or less the right place. On the tail. So I'm going to do that again moving this one up a bit and getting some dots there and then right down there. You just have to kind of watch where they're going and then some dots down here on this one as well. Okay, now I did go back to my pen because the stamp set didn't put any dots further down the tail and um, that way you can fill in any that didn't come out exactly the way you wanted. Um, and or make some of them a little bit larger if you've got um, um, any kind of something that you're trying to hide. This would be a good place to put a dot. <laughs> um, so I'm adding a few not many and I'm going to do that also on the inside of my card and um, I'll use the stamp to see if I can't get a couple of them positioned in there and then add any that may need some addition like that and then back to my pen some of them came out a little faint so I'll fill those in and then add another one or two. There we go. All right. So now I've got basically all of my stamping done. So I'm going to put my ink away and now we are at putting this card together. So um, on this one, I didn't raise this panel, but I think on this one, I'm going to. Um, so I, and it helps, this um, backing on this glimmer paper has kind of a, a, almost a plastic coating on it. And a lot of things don't like sticking to it. But dimensional stick to it, glue dots stick to it, and Tombow does. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue, I mean some dimensionals on the back of this. Now I'm going to center this on my card base and then um, I'm going to put my lemon lime twist piece down next and for that I am using glue dots because it's got to stick to the face of the glimmer paper and the best chance for that is um, glue dots. Looks right, and then this piece to go on here. I just love the way this is coming out. So I'm just going to use a little bit of snail on the back of this piece here, 
and centered that on my lemon line. Okay, here we go. There's our card front. Isn't that pretty? So now we've got to add just a little bit of, um, a I added a little bit more uh, embellishment on this and I used my Wink of Stella pen and then I used some sequins from this iridescent sequin assortment. There's these sequins that are this kind of, it's kind of almost a blue green. So it really works well with this color combination. So I'm going to take out a handful of these blue green sequins here and uh, I'm going to put them on my card and use my Wink of Stella brush here to um, sort of add a little bit of sparkle to the card. So I'm going to uh, quiet the video and speed this up so that it isn't quite so tedious. Okay, so there's the Wink of Stella all over the bird and feathers and dots. Now I'm going to use um, a little bit of Tombow here and I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on my silicone mat here and then I'm just going to use um, the tip of my bone folder here to put down a little bit of the Tombow on a spot on the card and then put one of these sequins in place. There we go. And um, the sequins are in different sizes and so you can put different sizes on the card in different places. And in fact, there's one super tiny sequin in here and I thought it might be kind of fun to see if we can give this bird a sequined eye. There. I don't think that's too bizarre. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think. Does he look like he belongs in a horror movie? <laughs> but I kind of like it on there. So I'm going to continue adding my sequins here. And I thought that putting it in this pattern of three kind of going off the card this way. Oops. It got stuck to me instead of the card. And then three of them down here at the bottom kind of going off this way on the card. Um, there's something about that pattern that really appealed to my eye. So um, I'm putting them down here. And one last one right down here on the end. And I think I want a large one. So I'm going to see if I can get one of the larger ones right down here. On that end. And I think that looks actually pretty balanced. Um, I am just, I just love this little card. It's so simple and yet the impact is pretty, pretty good. Um, and I will say that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I'm one of those people that believes you can ever have too much sparkle <laughs> on a card. But I do think I like it better with the Lemon Lime Twist than I do with the two Glimmer Papers. It feels a bit over the top. So you'll have to let me know what you think. But um, I, I'm very pleased with the way this came out. And then we have our pieces in the inside. And I probably 
we'll go back in on both of those cards and add a little bit of the um, shimmer pen, um, the um, Wink of Stella pen on the inside on those swirls. But there's my project for the day. Uh, I want to thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do appreciate it. And um, uh, that's it for me. Uh, let's see. The prize draw for this time is the Barn Door Bundle. I showed that in one of my previous videos, but uh, Bundle, this is it here, is the prize draw for the month of January. And you can see here in this illustration, the little barn door moves across the card. So you can have it in one place and you move it the other side, it reveals your sentiment. And it works on a little washer. It looks like it's rolling up and down this bar and it's really not. But isn't that just darling? So that is the prize draw for the month of January. And the Hold On to Hope bundle was won by Minerva Rico out of Orange, Texas for the December one. And um, so uh, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator or you could join my team. There's special incentives um, that you get nearly a couple hundred dollars worth of items uh, with no shipping charge if you join in January, February, or March while celebration is going on. And so um, all of this can now be ordered on my website, www.albedinger.stampinup.net. And um, um, the details are below. You can always give me a call. I'm happy to talk to any of you. And uh, that's it for me today. I'll be back with more cards and more projects. And until then, bye.